Rob, thank you. Yes, Paul, you're live on uh, Praise or Grumble. So, 3-1 victory against Stoke. Your take on your team's performance today? Yeah, a bit of, uh, a bit of everything. Um, yeah, a bit of everything in terms of we, we started... You could tell straight away what Stoke had tried to do to stop us, stop us getting his outside centre-backs out. We sort of prepared for that and, and listen, we've watched the first goal back. We're absolutely delighted in, in how we've managed to do it and it's, it's literally off the training ground so every player could take a lot of credit for that. And then we get the second with Jaden, uh, pressing high regain. At least it took a little deflection off Jags when his mate tried to make the block, but we'd take that and good value, looking strong. And then, uh, regardless, I've seen the goal and it should have been given offside, but it's our fault, the goal. We've, we've recovered well for that from one of their counters and then we're just really slow, which didn't like us to be organised from their throwing and we've paid the price, so that, that's on us, that's our fault. And Yeah, so that's what we'll take from the game. Um, uh, second half, I thought we we allowed their style, if you like, and them trying to stop us. I've not watched the game back, but I think if I watch it, I don't know if they made any more changes, but they certainly stopped us getting out from the back. Um, but what we did well was stop them creating any chances. Jacob Brown had a header, and looking back and, and looking up, that, that was it, which is good from our part. When you're feeling like you know you want more in the game, and uh, yeah, so that that was the story of it. Really, we didn't make the most of our opportunities, openings, I'd say, in the second half um, because we did have them. Final pass, we had one or two that got to the shot, which we, we could have scored one or two. Sanders in particular, I'm thinking of. Um, but then Jaden again, right at the end, it sort of uh, puts the game to bed, really, and makes the final 10 minutes or so easier. The second half was, was perhaps more intense, but never excruciatingly so. That's perhaps a mark of how the team are adept at defending the edge of the box. Yeah, I think... Uh, you, you can't you, you can't be scared of those moments. We're going to have them all the time in the last 90. Everyone's going to be scrapping. Um, and, and I've said it before, when we're watching teams, we're watching preparing for games, ultimately when we, we come and then face a team, they may set up different against us. Um, it's because of where we are, the, the form, we get that, and it's part of us trying to then preempt what's coming. So we know it's, it makes the games like that. So we have to be prepared for that. We can't be scared by it. We can't be uh, affected by it. We can't be affected by goals for or against. We've just got to keep trying to uh, perform properly, make good decisions, and then we should come out on the right end of them more often than not. Yeah. And, and a pleasing <laughs> couple of moments for Bogle, who's obviously had a, an injury nightmare for the last 10 or 11 months or so to get his first goals again in Sheffield United colours. Yeah, good. Good for him. Uh, we've, we've took a, our time with him. Fed him back in in terms of minutes, uh, yeah. So it's been important for him to get him back up to to match fitness. He's been fixed. He's worked hard, and and both him and Lowy coming back over Christmas did a lot of hard work. So did Tommy. These boys, um, but but the minutes are the main thing, and we've managed to get him up to where we want him to be. And and then you see that in the performances. Eleven points clear of third right now. Obviously, results elsewhere, and indeed you are up your own today. That you must agree that's an exceptionally strong position to be in. A good position to be in, but that's it. We um, we could be, and you could be telling me a different points thing, and then the week next week you'd be telling me that. So that's it again. Just like I'm saying, we're preparing for the goals and and not having anything like that affect us. It's the same when we look at the results because we're going to have ups and downs between now and the end of the season. So are the teams. If they have the ups and if they have the downs, and we have the ups. We, we don't get complacent, think we've achieved anything, and likewise when we have the downs, they have the ups. So what? There's another game and. I think it has to be like that. We're preparing for every minute of every game. And, and the next one now is Hull. Um, and, and that'll be it. We won't look any further. Um, we won't really look at the results of the other teams. We do our job and then, then we'll have a look and see where everyone is. Uh, Illiman and Jai left the field of play while he came back on it, but he had ice strapping on it. Does that concern you much at this stage? It does, yeah. yeah. But I don't know what it is or, or how it is. He seems... He wanted to carry on, but again, we were where we were. We uh, we wanted to make a change, um, so uh, we'll just get him assessed to see how he is. And Clark, Bogle, and Stevens weren't in the match day squad today. Was that injury related? Yeah, uh, Kieran's coming back from his hamstring. We've got Jade, uh, uh, Ender, and George as well picked up injuries. We're at that stage. Listen, said it before. We're at that stage now. Our uh, the academy training pitch we're using is at that point where it's turned. Um, we're going to have, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. It's, it's going to be a challenge. We're going to have to be uh, 
yeah, really thoughtful. We put it on the medical staff and the sports science teams to come up with plans to help us get through this because we saw how, what happened last time. And we had a lot of unlucky injuries at the start of this season, contact twists, breaks, which are part and parcel of the game, but which then put added pressure on our players and we picked up one or two strains, things like that. But I know, just through experience, I've been in this position before and then of the experience of last season on that on that ground, how that began to play a part in the players' bodies. So um, we've seen it already. So we need to, we'll certainly change how we train. We'll certainly try and be prepared for it um, because ultimately that's going to be a big factor for us going forward. A lot of money was spent on some of the work up there, the new training pitch, etc. Do you think that will help? When we can get on it, will. So a lot of money was spent, but we didn't get the uh, undersoil eating plugged in and paid off in time. So that's in now, good. But we, ideally, we would have liked that done at the same time. So we were on the pitch, which I wouldn't be chatting about that then now. But so we're going to be that couple of months behind. So um, we have to, yeah, be prepared for it. You know, I, I've got to manage myself through it. Frustrations, anger, and disappointments if something does happen. Uh, frustrations that maybe not the preparation I would like because that's what I think um, I enjoy doing and I think it's really important to get your team set up. So yeah, we, we've all got to be prepared for uh, for this patch until we get back on uh, where we want to be and we can take, like I said last year, take that, that risk, that element and get it back in our control. Uh, Paul, for now though, thank you.